hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl zaria shakira aka frizzy curls back again with another youtube video and if you are new welcome to my channel and make sure you are subscribed before we get this video started see like the life i feel see like the life i feel is a little distant yeah okay guys this video is long overdue but happy september and i hope you enjoy the videos that i put together for you guys this month now when i say this video is long overdue i mean it is very long overdue so the last time i actually filmed myself washing my hair in the shower was approximately around october of 2017 and to just give you guys a little visual for those of you who are new to my channel, that was when my natural hair was still fully black. I've dyed my hair twice now in the matter of two years, so yeah, it's been a very long time since I've given you guys a video like this. But as you can see, I just took out the hairstyle that I did have in my hair and I'm just wetting it so I can begin the process. More times than none, I do find myself doing a middle part. So for this wash and go today, that's what I decided to do. And the shampoo today that I'll be using is the Color Solutions Sulfate Free Shampoo by Ion. If you are not new to my channel, you have seen this brand featured in my channel, especially the first time I dyed my hair. I did use a color repair treatment, but this time I'll be using their shampoo. Since I am including my wash day routine, I normally use Trader Joe's shampoo and conditioner. I've been using that for years, but since I've recently dyed my hair this color, I decided to use this Ion Color Solution shampoo. And I'm using this just to make sure my hair is kind of being taken care of when using shampoo. And plus it is sulfate free. So normally I do use my Denman brush to detangle my hair, but this time I felt it was kind of easy to just finger detangle, so that's what I was doing. And after that, I just rinse it out and get ready for the next side. Yeah, and the reason why I haven't filmed any videos like this is probably because it gets a little too foggy in the bathroom. But anywho, I'm just going to be moving on to the next side, repeating the same process before I move on to the next step. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite parts of doing my hair. Y'all can tell my voice got a little bit more excited, but. I really, really, really love this deep conditioner and the deep conditioner I'm using today is the Aunt Jackie's Cocoa Repair Coconut Cream Deep Conditioner. I've been using this deep conditioner for a few months now and I really love what it does to my hair, especially after I add heat to it. So it really does bring back my curls and I really, really love it. My hair was feeling a little dry before I washed it, so I did want to make sure I deep condition it today. So I just apply it to my hair and detangle as I go, making sure I do wet my hair a little bit so it has a little bit more slip to it. And that's really it for the deep conditioning part, but after it is applied to my hair, I do sit up under the dryer for about 20 minutes. I do have low porosity hair, so for people like me, it is good to sit under the dryer when you are deep conditioning. Alright, so now that it's been 20 minutes and I sat under the dryer, this little thing here I actually found at Dollar Tree. It's called a spa comb, but I thought it would be a little similar to like a scalp massager type of thing, even though it's manual to do it. But I don't have a scalp massager, so I just felt like this would be the closest thing to it. That's why I bought it, and I'm just going to be like massaging my scalp basically with it for a little bit, and then rinsing out the deep conditioner. I don't know if you can see it, but I definitely see it. This deep conditioner has brought back my curls, is making my curls look a lot more juicier. They are definitely more manageable in the shower. I just love this deep conditioner. Like This is the best deep conditioner that I've probably found since being a natural. So now wash day is complete and we're about to move on to what you guys have all been waiting for. To style my hair today, I'll be using only one product and that one product is aloe vera gel. So this isn't the typical aloe vera gel that you buy out of the store. This is the all natural extract from the aloe vera plant itself. In this video, I did not show you how to extract the gel out of the aloe leaf, 
but I will show you guys how I use aloe for skincare. So if you are not yet subscribed and you would like to know how to do this and how to use it on your skin as well as hair, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel. So all I'm doing with the aloe is just scooping it up in my hands and applying it to the small sections that I've sectioned in my hair. If you are new to using aloe on your hair or if you want to do the same thing that I did in this video, just be careful because it is very slippery so you may lose a lot of product if you're not careful. But other than that, it's a really, really, really simple process. And as I'm applying this aloe, I am making sure my hair is resaturated with water before I actually apply it to my hair. So now I'm finally going to stop talking and just let you guys see me apply this gel to my hair and I'll be back towards the end of the video. So once I'm done adding the aloe to the sections of my hair, I just take a little bit of what I have left and just distribute it through the rest of my hair. And with this process, if you couldn't see, I was raking it through. And this is what it looks like right after I've applied it. You can see earlier that I was feeling myself because my curls was popping. So yeah, in the shower, I was already ready for my hair to dry so I can see what it looks like. But don't worry about these chunks of aloe you see. You will actually see how I get rid of them a little bit later. <laughs> But this is just what it looks like on my hair after I've applied it and I will leave any details you need about aloe in the description box. All right, we're almost done. My hair is 100% dry. The last thing I will do is take my peppermint oil and my natural hair pick, and I'm about to get this fro popping. All right guys, this completes the aloe vera wash and go that I did today on my natural hair. I really hope you guys like this video. I really do hope you like how this came out with only using one product. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.